Today, my name is Cheryl Williams, and we're going to be bringing you our new cutting technique, a design haircut that is created with dimensions, angles, and different coloring patterns that we have here. Our model has been prepared before us, uh, before we actually start the uh, cutting technique ourselves. Here are all the different cutting tools and implements that will actually be used to create the design, the weight, the movement that this particular haircut actually is going to create. You're going to have a lot of geometric uh, shapes in the haircut with a lot of movement so we can give all the emphasis with the designs of the dimensions of the hair color. Let's get started. Here we have our, our model already sectioned into five di different sections and the bang area is left out. This particular cut is one of the cuts that really allow us to really get into our work and really cut time, but give the shape and the dimension and the, the angles of each hair cut that th we're going to create. Starting here in the right back panel of our haircut, I'm using our fal falcon cutting combs. Each comb is what is actually going to be able to create the different shapes, angles, and designs in this haircut, along with our clippers. Starting here at our back right panel, we're going to take one of our falcon cutting combs, and it's considered a carving comb, which we use with our clippers at this particular angle here. We're going to be holding the panel out at a low dimension, zero level, we're going to take our comb, incorporate it at the nape area, pulling the teeth through so we can actually see where we want that shape to actually fall. Okay, turning on our clippers. And as you see here, it's actually contouring over the shoulder, over the right shoulder. Carving out a C-shaping form to fall right over that right shoulder. Okay. Moving on to our next section. The middle back section, still at the nape area. Again, incorporating this particular section close to it taking our comb, holding our hair down at a zero degree angle. Again, the teeth are coming through the hair so you can see exactly where that shape is going to fall and following the teeth of the comb. There we have our right side of our degree angle from a zero degree. Now, we've got each cone that I have, one is for the right and one is for the left. Moving over to the left side, we're going to take our left cone, positioning it again at a zero degree angle, Coming underneath, carving out, and then we're going to take our clippers and go in the upward direction towards the ear. Following the shape of the cone. There is our guide to give us our back shape, just the outline. I'm one of the artists that really uses a lot of my razors. It gives us a lot of texture, a lot of movement, and that is what this particular cut is going to really create in the hair design here. We're going back into our right first panel behind the ear, taking our carving comb, holding the hair out at a 90 degree angle, 
Okay. We're going to take the smaller part over the erected back and the braids of the hair down. Just giving it a lot of choppy edge look. Again, throughout this whole panel, you're going to take it, holding at a 90 degree with tension, raise it down. Then get your hair, making soft, choppy, edgy, and into this hair shape. Really going in real close to the nape. softening up that hairline that we use with those clippers, but we're not changing the shape in the, in the area. Following the shape of the head down to the middle. Being able to see the dimensions of the three colors from light to burgundy wine. Our dark colors really lay close to the end to give us some depth in our shape. As we're going in and just softening up that hard line that our clippers have made just to set in our shape in the area. Okay. Following all the way to the middle back, taking that that subsection close right to that right back panel, again 90 degree. Angling our carbon comb down in a 45 and razoring down. Hand position and strokes are very important when you are actually using your cutting implements. If you can see here, we have a shorter area here and a longer area here to give us some long, elongation as we go back when we get ready to cut that panel that we haven't even messed with. Again, picking up, pulling out, over directing back to the right, and calming downward. Softening the area. Still making the hair lay close to the head at the back, forming the shape, the schism cut, which was originally designed out of California, and is designed to take down some of your timing, getting into your shaping of your haircut, and really getting, giving it a little bit more texturing, movement, and, but we're not coming away from any of our cutting foundation, as you see. You can see the color pattern here, really defined, still again, in the shape. Moving over to our left side, here, what we're going to do, again, still 90 degree, get your tension, carbon comb coming downward, over directing to the right, just 
just setting that shape in. Softening up the area. Following my initial guideline, it's there. Don't be afraid to use all your implements and tools to give you your creativeness in your hair, cutting as you're working and creating and designing your hairstyle. Reshaping the hair. Now if, at this particular time, to our left side, it's shorter underneath, but we're still going to go throughout the full area with our carving cone, giving it a real good razor sharp, real edgy look, all the way till we get up close to the left panel, close to the ear, still angling at a 90, pulling straight out, giving it a lot of tension. Enough tension so we can keep the hair in our hands. Moving to the front left panel, staying in our shape, over directing to a 40 degree angle, razoring down. So over the ear, what the design that we're actually wanting to create is what we call a swing toward the front of her face, just giving it a little texture so we can divide the, the colors in the hair style itself. working in the body of the hair shape. Pulling it all the way back, staying behind that ear. As you get towards the front, your ends of your hair should be getting longer so the hair can have movement from the back to the front. Still. Okay. Moving over to our right front panel. Getting close to that front, ba front bang. Still 90 degree over directing back to toward the left. When you actually cut away, it gives you length in the front. So again, following our guide, keeping our shape, angles for the design of the area that we want the hair shape to fall in. Right over that ear. Pull it in back. Over behind.
behind this area because it is toward the front bang that's going to really kind of give more direction of this particular hair shape. I'm doing a little twist on the hair shaft before my razor actually hits it. Just give it a little more of a softer look in the area. Stand on the top surface of that hair shaft. Dimension, shape, design. Movement, angles, degrees. That's what you're finding in this particular haircut. Low level degrees. I haven't really went into no high angles. I'm keeping it low because I want my movement to be closer to the face, closer in on the head. Starting with my razoring as far as giving me a blend for my movement softening the edges and the ends from coming with my carving comb and my my clippers just setting my design in where I wanted that shape to actually be cut at. Stopping right at the top of the eye in the front for that right front panel, pulling it all the way back, and just going in, just getting whatever ends that are coming to my guideline. Cutting is one of our main um, services that our clients actually um, want for change, lifestyle. So, and what you want to do, actually be able to use all the different cutting tools that you have. Now that I'm, I have my texture and I have my larger texture, when I'm just going to go into the body, kind of soften up some areas um, that have some weight in it. Right at the dividing line here, first right panel, the right front panel where we're going to connect, we're going to take our texture and shears and go in and really texture out, not taken away, but texture out so it can lay close and move together right here. I'm going to change positions, go down, pick up here. I have my falcon comb, tilt my model's head over, going under the nape, and just go cut and soften, make it lay close to the head right here. Again, not taking away the shape, just going in randomly, picking up hair that just catches in the teeth of the comb. This particular comb, again, just as our first comb, Follow the shape of the head. When we get over to our left side, again, follow the shape of the head. Everything we want soft. We're 
whatever you see weight in. Just take the teacher teeth of your comb, teeth of your texture and shears, and go in and point it out right on that point. See how it softens that area? Again, come up to the next. My, my shears are, my texture and shears are going straight into the area of hair that I wanted to cut. Come back over here, a little bit more weight. Just get your weight out. Again, up in the body, angle the comb, the teeth, and they both are parallel to each other, and cut. Want everything to fall and flow. Moving to the front of our hair design here, we're gonna take our small falcon comb, go underneath the bang area, angle, angle the, the comb right over that left eye. Take, we switch shear, uh, texture and shears we have our medium texture shear, and we're just gonna go in and just texture us a shape, right as a face frame. See how that's gonna fall in place for us. We're gonna have just a little slight peekaboo here, okay? Shape of the front frontal here. The comb is shaped the same, going underneath. Pulling the hair through the teeth. Texturing comb, stand right out to the ends of our hair about an inch away from our comb and giving our hairstyle a peekaboo front. Okay. We're going to again go under, change position of our comb. We're on our right side, pulling it out, angling down. Come in right at the top of the lip, front ear. Comb still in shape. Just taking those ends off, giving those ends a texture so we can have our movement. Now, we're going to switch our, our comb, again, not our two, Just keep our texture in, go right back into this front right ear. And we're gonna do some roll texturing. 90 degree picking up hair, it's going in. At this particular time, we're just doing some customizing making sure we have balance, harmony. Just rolling those ends, not taking away. We have a dimension of color. And as you see, I'm staying away from my darker color and actually texturing the lighter shade in the hairstyle. Made it a little choppy. Well, edgy. Okay. Came to my left side, over directed toward my right, rolling out, texturing those ends. Movement angles. Of texturing.
we actually have the shape of the schism bar. We went in earlier and actually achieved and placed the different hair shades that you see here within the uh, hair shape here. We laid those a little earlier. And that actually completes the sh uh, sh reshaping of the cut design of the schism bar. Now we're going to go into our styling tubes. We're going to give it some shine. Because in working with commercial hair, you want it to come as lovable and natural as you actually can. And we're just going to go in with our flat irons, again, working with the same angles that we actually cut in with our different tubes, just making it soft all throughout the hair style. Now that we are at the end of our cut, we have went ahead and ironed the hair into the actual shape, and we just use our flat irons. And so now we're gonna customize and do just the finishing touch. You always wanna go in with the finishing touch. We're gonna use a starting comb and our teeth edges, and I'm just gonna go in and clean up the edge area of the shape at the back. That was formerly placed with our cutting comb, one of the falcon cutting combs that actually really gives a good shaping for the area that you will occur shape so you have movement from, from front to back, left to right, however you want to set that design off in your cup on the left side, lining up the edge, real clean. We're going to go in back at the long nape area and just kind of texture it with our starting comb, putting the comb between the teeth so we just stay on the end and using just the tip of our peanut edges and giving it a little bit of a lesser weight, making it have movement. Softening up that edge. between the teeth of the comb with our edges. Coming to the front. Squeezing her out. Position our hair so we can do the little peekaboo right, right in the middle of the nose. Take your edge just lightly and carve over. Spin out on the ends of the hair. Oh. 
right back in the middle, coming straight down, stand right at the end of the hip. If you notice, I only use my point end of my edge here, and we're going to stop evenly right at the top of the nose, on the right, at the top of the cheek, on the left. Now, there you have, with the front pink peekaboo, three dimensions of color, design, texture, shape. With a schism technique cut into a bob. Look at that roundness, that curve, the volume. Thank you for being the audience. Hope you enjoyed the video.